When President Obama and Congress get back to business this month, they're going to have the foiled Christmas airliner attack and all that that entails to contend with. Well, who should be held accountable is the question. Joining me for today's strategy session are former House Democratic Chief Counsel Julian Epstein, CEO of LMG, and John Elliott, Republican strategist and former spokesman for the Senate Armed Services Committee. He's a senior vice president with Phil Nolan. Thank you so much for joining us in the Situation Room. Uh, ha you know, uh, Happy New Year to you both here. <laughs> Same to you. Uh, clearly, this is a lot for the president to deal with, but also members of Congress. Is this going to be ultimately a distraction in terms of what they need to get done on their plate, health care, energy legislation, and so forth, if you're looking at security concerns as top of the agenda? We'll start with you, Julian. No, this shouldn't be a distraction. This should be the number one issue. As important as health care is and jobs are and the other domestic issues, this is the most important issue facing the country. And I think what we should do is, for, from a Democratic point of view, we should stop pointing the fingers at Republicans. It's true that the Bush administration and the Republican Congress did not fix the intelligence system, did not get the no-fly system working, did not fully fund airport security. It makes no sense at this point for Democrats to keep looking back and pointing fingers at Republicans. By the same token, Republicans should not be looking to politicize and play politics, even though I think the administration did not handle this particularly well. Uh, in the aftermath of the, uh, of the Detroit airliner incident. Uh, I think what we need to do, what the president needs to do, is call together the congressional leadership together with the 9-11 Commission and talk about what things can be done administratively real quickly and then what things should be done legislatively, uh, things like body screening and body imaging uh, 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 technologies at the airports. Privacy uh, advocates will have a great deal of concerns on that, but I think if the Republicans can stop playing politics on this, if Democrats can say that privacy should take a backseat to security here, I think we have an opportunity for some bipartisan uh, approach on this as we come back. John, you worked for the Armed Services uh, with the Armed Services Committee. What do they need to do when they come back to s in session? Well, first of all, I'd say that Julian's exactly right. I mean, I think this is something where number one, Congress can and the Senate and the House can both walk. You know, they can walk and chew gum at the same time. So I think they should be able to handle everything else. And this is such an important issue in terms of how people are going to be made safe in the air and in other places and this is just top of mind for everybody so what what needs to happen here is that is that uh, when they do come back there will be hearings senator feinstein has already said this is a very serious matter and she is going to uh, be leading a hearing along with her ranking member kit bond in the intelligence committee on the twenty first and that's a very positive sign i think julian's right that the president has realized that this is a big lapse and that's why he came out so quickly after the initial downplaying by secretary uh, napolitano and by the and by, by spokesman Gibbs, but basically uh, they were able to uh, get, try to get ahead of this thing, and I think that uh, this shouldn't be a political football. It should be addressed to sort of what can be done constructively by uh, either legislation or otherwise in terms of oversight. You, you and, both and, you know, agree. Susan, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, Suzanne, the American public really doesn't want to see politics on this. They don't want to see Democrats pointing the finger at the Bush administration That's right. and the failures who, who from those Who should they age. hold accountable, though? Who should, who should they, they should call hold, to testify? Should look, it be the they, CIA? They, should it be Homeland Security? Should we see I, Napolitano? I, you know, look, I think that they should call all account. I, should, I think that the entire system, I think that the heads of the re relevant agencies, the Director of Central Intelligence, the CIA, Homeland Security, Justice Department, all play a role here. There was all clearly systemic failure. Uh, while I said, again, this, this, this is a system that the Obama administration inherited, uh, the Obama administration has been in power now for a year. Uh, this is, uh, a lot of this stuff can be fixed administratively. The, the, the ability of the intelligence agencies, and this goes back for decades, the ability, ability of intelligence and law enforcement agencies to talk with one another, that's an issue that has to be fixed directly by the president himself. The president has to intervene on that. So a lot of this can be done without legislation. We do need legislation when it comes, when it comes to things like better technology at the airports. And that's something that both Democrats and Republicans, unfortunately, have voted against in the yeah. past. John? And we need to fix. Yeah, I, we, I was, was going to say that uh, th this, really, we have two tracks here. One is, as Julian says, why were the dots not connected? And that is something that is fundamental. And there was a lot of legislation that, when I was up in the Senate, that we worked on directly in the Armed Services Committee to get uh, to, to try to break down these barriers. And, and that resulted in the creation of the National Counterterrorism Center and the DNI. Here, the dots weren't, weren't uh, uh, you know, were not connected, and so that's one aspect of, that needs to be looked at. But the second thing is, you know, what are we going to do in terms of body scanners? What are we going to do in terms sure. of dogs at airports? And, and 
and actually making sure that even when there me, isn't intelligence to connect, that people are still as safe as they can possibly be. Uh, let me bring in a different point of view here. This is from David Brooks, an op-ed in the New York Times today. He says, we shouldn't imagine that these centralized institutions are going to work perfectly or even well most of the time. It would be nice if we reacted to their inevitable failures, not with rabid denunciation and cynicism, but with a little resiliency and awareness that human systems fail and bad things will happen and we don't have to lose our heads every time they do. Has there been an overreaction, do you think, uh, because this has been a, a, a light uh, news cycle, if, we, if you will, over the last week or so? Or do you think it's been appropriate, the level of criticism and discussion around security? I think it's been entirely appropriate just from the standpoint that this is, such, this is such a fundamental issue, how people are going to be safe in the air and on the ground and uh, in other situations where they may be facing a terrorist uh, who's coming to kill them. But uh, fundamentally, uh, I think David Brooks is exactly right. I don't think there's been a, uh, an overreaction, but, but to examine it and for Congress to take the time to look at it, I think back to what we did with the Armed Services Committee. We had a lot of Republicans, and in fact, the Bush administration, a lot of them did not want the Armed Services Committee to look into that. But it was the Republican chairman of that Armed Services Committee, John Warner, who said, sorry, we are going to hold nine hearings looking into this top to bottom, and he did that. And a lot of people in the party were upset, but he actually got to the uh, solutions there that led to uh, better policy. Julian, real well, quick Suzanne, here. Suzanne, David Brooks is my favorite columnist, but I think he's absolutely wrong. What he's saying is uh, that we can't expect a perfect system. There is human failure. That's true. But there's much that needs to be done. We, the intelligence agencies need to communicate better. We need more professionalism in the counterterrorism center. Uh, that's clearly an issue. We, Congress needs to step up to the plate. They need to put privacy issues uh, second to security issues. And we need to look at what other countries are doing, like Israel and El Al. They use a very, very sophisticated form of passenger okay. interrogation that doesn't involve racial profiling, uh, but is very, very effective. There's a lot that we can be doing much better. I think David Brooks, he's 99% he's of the time he's spot on. Today's column, I think he was wrong. All right. Uh, Julian Epstein, John Elliott, thank you so much, and Happy New Year to you both. Thanks happy for New Year, Suzanne. Thank you.